Hello sophomores, I'm Dr. Kelly O'Donnell. I'm the manager of the 2013 Macaulay Central Park BioBlitz. I have my PhD in Ecology and Evolution from Stony Brook University. I've done my research on invasive plants and natural selection. I'm interested in how invading plants come into a new area and respond to novel conditions they might find themselves in. So I'm here to tell you a bit about what's going to happen on August 26th and 27th. This BioBlitz has been created specifically for you, the incoming Macaulay sophomore class, to allow you to work with a hand-selected group of scientists exploring the vast range of life that exists in Central Park. You will each join a team and choose a three-hour shift during the BioBlitz. During your shift, you will work with your team to catalog a particular type of life in the park. Among the scientists joining us on this adventure is Daniel Atha from the New York Botanical Garden. He'll be heading up the plant part of our BioBlitz. My name is Daniel Atha, and I'm a research associate here at the New York Botanical Garden. I'm the coordinator for the plant component of the Central Park BioBlitz of 2013. Uh, BioBlitz is an opportunity, really, to bring people together to share their knowledge and to raise awareness for biodiversity. I was about 25 years old, and it occurred to me just kind of out of the blue that a well-educated man should know the difference between an oak tree and an elm tree. The very first class, I walked into the botany class and on the very first day the teacher was showing slides of her travels around the world um, studying water lilies and she told us the title of her PhD thesis which was Hot Sex in Water Lilies. She studied the ability of water lilies to raise their temperature. That looked fantastic. I took that course and I said that's what I want to do. I want to do exactly that. Plants really do have a lot to tell us about the climate, about our environment, um, but we have to pay attention. We're looking for things which uh, maybe have not been found in that particular zone of the park before. Plants that maybe are not on the list already. So the um, participants will be using uh, basic um, guides like this uh, Peterson Field Guide to identify trees, flowers, grasses, and shrubs. There are about 400 species known from the park and we expect to find maybe half a dozen um, that have not been recorded from Central Park before. Daniel and I, along with the rest of the participating scientists, look forward to seeing you at the end of the month right here in Central Park. The BioBlitz begins at 3 p.m. on Monday, August 26, 2013, and ends at 3 p.m. on Tuesday, the 27th. 